Hello and welcome to Prestatraining.com. I'm Kurt Donahue. Today we're going to be learning how to create a robots.txt file in our PrestaShop store. Before we actually get to the creation of the blank file, loading it to the server, and generating the PrestaShop robot.txt file, I want to talk a little bit about what this robots.txt file is actually for and why you would want to do this. It's not just because it's available in PrestaShop that you want to do it. It really does serve a valuable purpose. Now, the robots.txt file essentially directs traffic on your website. And it's very important when it comes to good search engine robots. For instance, Google's, the, the Googlebot or Yahoo's robot or spider. And a lot of the good search engines, they actually go to your website and they look for this robots.txt file. And there are certain rules that you can put in your file that tell them what to look at and what not to look at. And why that's important is if you just have uh, the ability for these ex external robots to come and look at your site and you have a lot of duplicate content or you have a lot of areas of your website that really are irrelevant to your search engine rankings, that can actually hurt you. So if you want to have the best search engine rankings that you can, which I'll guarantee that you do if you're selling stuff on the Internet, then you need to have a robots.txt file that helps eliminate some of this excess file searching that these robots have to do and indexing that they have to do. So that's kind of the, the most important part of the robots.txt file. Now some people would say, well, does it help keep bad robots out of your, out of your site? Uh, the reality is no, that it does not, because bad robots and malware bots uh, they just ignore your robots.txt file. Even if you tell robots not to go to certain areas, bad robots can go there anyway. It's a publicly available file. Uh, people can actually look at it if they know how to do that, and robots certainly don't have to follow the rules in the robots.txt file. So don't think that you can put secret or safe stuff there. It's not secret. It's not safe. Uh, and also don't think that bad robots will listen to what you tell them to do. Once again, the big picture is that a robots.txt file primarily is going to help you improve your search engine rating rankings by giving the good bots the right information. So Google doesn't wind up splitting your search engine rankings between two pages that are identical, but really you only need one of those two pages indexed. Hopefully that's clear. So let's go ahead and go to our back office, and I'll show you where the robots.txt file comes into play. Okay, we're here in the back office. To find and locate where you generate your robots.txt file, just go to your Tools menu and go to Generators. And you'll see that this is the same location that you can generate your .ht access file that we did in an earlier video. So let's take a look at this robots file generation section. Now there's a couple things you want to read right away. It says first off your file must be in your website's root directory and that's a little bit more obvious down here where it actually tells you where to put it. It says create a robots.txt blank file in the following directory. This is what it means by your root directory. So what we're going to do first is actually create a blank robots.txt file and then we're going to upload it to the web host and then we're going to set the permissions. Now I've mentioned this before in other videos, for some reason PrestaShop has permission settings that are in my opinion overly generous but they'll generally work for pretty much everybody's system. So you might find that you can get away with a stricter permission setting than what they're recommending here. And I'll show you what I mean after we upload this to our server because I don't need to use a 666 in order for my system to work. And if you can have a stricter permission, uh, that's a good idea because a 666 is a much less strict permission than what I'm forced to use to make my system work. All right, so let's start with creating a blank robots.txt file. I'm using a Windows XP machine, so for me the easiest thing to do is to create a blank robots.txt file using Notepad. It's very simple. All you have to do is click File, Save As, 
and I'm just going to save it to my desktop to make it easy. Type in robots, all lowercase letters, .txt, and just click Save. Now you can see that it popped up over here, and it's also renamed our blank, and notice that there's nothing here. So this is a blank file, and it's titled robots.txt. The next thing we need to do is get it onto the web host in the right location. So in case you forgot where it's supposed to go, let's go back here and look. And it says we need to put it in, in my case, the Presta Training Demo uh, 1340 Presta Shop. I need to put it in this root directory. So I'm actually going to drag and drop the file into the 1.3.4.0 hyphen Presta Shop. That is the root directory, which I know can be confusing for people who don't do this every day. So let's go ahead and open up our FTP program. I like to use FileZilla. Just need to find my file on the desktop now. And there it is, robots.txt. So I'm going to drag this blank robots.txt file over to my root directory and drop it in. And let's go down here and look and see what we've got. Here's the .ht access file that we added a while back. And I just want to point out the permissions while we're looking here. The permission of this folder is 644. It is not the 666 that it recommends for the robot.txt file. And that's OK. So here's our robots.txt file. And I have a permission of 644 here as well. Now, I'm not going to change that to the recommended 666. But if you need to, because your system won't work unless you do, uh, it's very simple. In, in FileZilla, I'm just right-clicking, and I'm hitting File Permissions. And if you want to change it to 666, just type in 666. And you'll notice that you've given write permissions at the group permission level and also at the public permission level. So if you don't have to do that, then don't. Just leave it at a 644. And uh, if it works for you, that's great. But if it doesn't, then you might have to use the 666. I would not suggest doing this, though. Always keep as tight of permissions as you can. So now it's on our web host. And the next step is to actually generate the robots.txt file uh, that PrestaShop will generate for us. So let's go back to our back office. Now, I have not refreshed the screen, so you'll see that up here we've got this button to click the HD, or to generate the .ht access file, but we don't have that down here yet. So let's hit reload and see if it found the file, and it did. So now PrestaShop knows that that file is in your root directory, and uh, we can generate that file by pushing that button. But before you do that, I want you to read this part here. It says, this will erase your old robots.txt file. So if you have an old robots.txt file that you've modified and added a bunch of rules into, uh, this will actually overwrite it, and it will totally erase it. So this tutorial is meant for people who have not actually created a robots.txt file yet. If you already have one, you might want to talk to somebody who knows something about the, TX, the robots.txt file or the person that created it for you. You don't want to overwrite that typically uh, if it's already there. So uh, if you're like most of the people that should be watching this tutorial, you don't have one, so we're going to generate it right now. Okay, let's go ahead and click the button. And it says the update is successful. So you may be wondering, what happened? What did I actually do here? I'm going to show you what your new robots.txt file looks like. Now for me to open this robot.txt file, it's just easier if I move it over to the uh, desktop again. I'm going to overwrite the blank file, and now I'm going to open it. And here's the same program we were using before, Notepad. And you can see that now it's not blank anymore. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And these are all rules that PrestaShop created when we click that Generate Robots.txt button. And you can see up here it says Robots.txt automatically generated by PrestaShop. So it talks about directories and files that it's asking the spiders and bots not to index. So it's disallowing these particular areas. 
and that's that's really what you want to use your robots.txt file for. Now, as I said in the beginning, bad robots will just ignore this file, so there's not much you can do about you, not much you can do about that. But with respect to improving your search engine rankings, this should help as far as eliminating duplicate content. Now, one other thing that I would like to show you is this great website. It's at www.robotstxt.org, and uh, you can go ahead with a forward slash robotstxt.html. What this is, is a fantastic resource if you want to learn about robots.txt. I've spent some time looking at this uh, information, and there's just a number of things that you can learn about, such as can you block bad robots, or uh, why did they ignore your robots.txt file, just a lot of really good stuff. And there's a frequently asked questions page here that will take you to most of the information right away. If you want to look at robots books or indexing or any of those types of things that have to do with the robots.txt file, this is a fantastic resource. So if you are of the mindset of wanting to know everything you can about the robots.txt file, what it's for, what it can do for you. This is an outstanding resource. Well, I hope that has provided you with the information you need to know to set up and generate your robots.txt file in PrestaShop, and I also hope that I gave you a little extra information as far as the, the reasons for the robots.txt file and why you would want to have one on your system. So I look forward to seeing you in the next training module.